point lead early on. Payton to Will Brantley. And the Bruins fight back in this game, taking the lead by a point on this Mitchell Butler jam. High fives all around from the U-Clans. In the second half, Payton missed 10 shots in a row, but finally got it together. And on that basket, it became the Pac-10's fourth all-time leading scorer. Great save here by Payton. Watch the spin move and the deuce as the Beavers pull away. Final score, 83-74. to Payton, 23 points, 12 assists. As a stripper, he is Nadev Penefel. He had six steals on the night. On the other end of the court, it's the seven-footer Dan Cerulek rejecting the shot by Michael Cooper. Kisses all around for Mr. Cerulek. And then it's Nadev Penefel with a bounce pass to Chris Smith for the layup. Smith had 21 to lead UConn. See here for Lissimo, uh, watched his team try to battle back from a 13-0 deficit. But it was not to be. Smith goes coast to coast here in the second half. Connecticut wins it big. 79-57 was the final score. The Huskies have won 14 of their last 15 games. 15 points. Robert Dan takes the elbow from Stephen Howard. And he's on Queer Street for a few minutes. He didn't know if he was playing DePaul or Gabe Paul. St. John shot like they were out cold in the first half. Malik Seeley misses the easy layup. Johnny shot less than 30% in the first half. But Robert Dan came back in the game. Did he ever? Scoring eight straight Redmen points as St. John's came back from a 10-point halftime deficit. We're down with 20 points on the night, 15 boards as they beat DePaul for the second time this season. They beat them back in the uh, Big Apple NIT. All Bond with the slam on the other end. They led by 21. Melvin Newburn, the hanging move here for two of his 16 points. Tom Davis asking Clint Haskins, hey, can't have you guys slow down a bit, will you? Clint says, no way. Willie Burton to Bob Martin for the easy jam. Minnesota up by 28. Minnesota slapping Iowa 102 to 80. Richard Coffey led the way with 18 for Minnesota.